my new favorite 10 ounce silver bar and I just picked up some more. Let's get to the video. Hey guys, Patriarch Stack here and I'm back with more content for you guys and girls today. Now before I start, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel. Hit the like button and don't forget to comment down below. All that stuff really helps out the channel. So what makes this Thursday better than usual Thursdays? Well, I got a package. I picked up more silver. I actually added more. 10 ounce Britannia bars to the stack. So I don't know if you guys watched my last video when I picked these up down in South Carolina. Well, well I, when I had them delivered down when I was staying in South Carolina. These are my first four Britannia bars I've ever owned. I've never owned a 10 ounce Britannia bar because I thought $300, $330 for a 10 ounce bar when the average 10 ounce bar was going for 250 to 260 was just too much money. So I always stayed away from the 10-ounce Britannia bars because of the pricing difference, a huge premium on them. But the last few months, the last half year, I would say even the last year, um, the Britannia bars and the RCM bars have come down on price quite a bit. So since the price drop, why wouldn't it be cool to uh, have some government-backed silver bars, right? So. I went ahead and I started stacking these. I bought four of them and then I just got hooked and I added more. So we're gonna open up that package. And also shout out to Silver Gold Stack Attack. These are his favorite uh, silver bars to stack, uh, the 10 ounce Britannias. And uh, he kind of got me hooked on them also. So uh, yeah, let's get to the opening of this beautiful priority box and see what we got. So you all have a pretty good idea that I most likely bought more, right? So, but how much more did I buy? Uh, we're gonna find out. It's, uh, I already opened the box just to make sure uh, everything was there before I uh, opened it on camera, right? <laughs> but, um, so I picked up more 10 ounce Britannia bars and uh, there's one. Oh, let's stack it here. One, two, three, yeah, four. So let's zoom out a little bit. I bought four more 10 ounce Silver Britannia bars and I did it because they are awesome. I really starting to like these a lot. Um, especially um, the price point. Now, obviously, if you're going on AppMex and buying these, I wouldn't recommend that because they're like still selling for 330 bucks. But um, if you want to check out a great online bling site, which is a big site, but not many people know about them, check out Liberty Coins Co. They're selling these at a really good price. I mean, I paid under 280 for all of these. Um, I paid 271 for the first batch, the first batch of four. Um, last week, a week and a half ago, and this batch, obviously, you know, silver jumped up a little bit more. I think I paid like 274, 275, something like that. Um, under 280, so that's really good for uh, government-backed silver bars, right? Um, it doesn't have uh, any denominations on it, like uh, most government-backed stuff. You know, government-backed bullion coins and stuff. And some some bars even have uh, denominations on it. I think, uh, uh, what was that bar? Maybe someone shoot a comment down below if you remember that uh, 10 ounce bar that has a dom denomination on it. But um, yeah, it's government backed. It's just not legal tender. Um, maybe it is, maybe they just don't have the denomination on it. Um, but uh, it's definitely government backed by the Royal Mint. And uh, that definitely gives it some uh, extra, you know, peace of mind you know and uh, you can also tell that <clears throat> these bars seem to have some security features like the waves in the back um, that finish um, and just little details um, I don't know if they really consider it a security feature but I can tell you right now this is not an easy bar to uh, replicate so uh, 
it's also very safe to stack because of all the detail in it but um yeah i would never stack these before um I was, even though i always thought they were pretty i just stayed away from them because of the high premiums on these but now they are actually cheap i mean the first batch I was tied between getting four Unity 10 ounce bars, which are made by the Cut Saw Mint. Um, typical generic, but beautiful. And, or I was gonna get four of the RCM bars. And uh, for literally $2 difference per bar, these were $2 more, why wouldn't I get these? But um, yeah, I'm hooked. Now I got eight of them, and I'm gonna keep on stacking these. And like I said before, I love my 10 ounce silver bars. I love my Scottsdale stackers. I love my germanium mint bars. I love my kilo bars. I stack all types of different brands. Um, but uh, this is definitely gonna be in my uh, my new uh, bar uh, section of my bar stack. But um, yeah guys, check out Liberty Coin Co for some great deals on Britannia 10 ounce bars. Also check out Hero Bullion. Harold Boyne also has great deals on these right here. Actually, very, very cheap on Harold as well. And uh, Monument Metal too. Monument Metal has um, some great deals. They're not as cheap as uh, um, Liberty Coin Co. for these, but uh, they're up there. But um, yeah, guys, pick these beauties up. I don't know if I'm going to put them in capsules or leave them in the original plastic. Um, I have to check out this plastic and make sure it's not the plastic that kind of melts on the bars after time. Um, some of plastic, uh, especially like coin flips, if it's a certain plastic, it'll really ruin your coins or bars if you keep it in there for a long period of time. And I don't want that to happen. Um, to me, it's just not silver. You know, obviously, if you treat your silver more, uh, if you treat your silver good, it's going to it's gonna pay off at the end. Um, you don't want to destroy your stuff, right? But um, yeah guys, that's what I got. Let me know, comment down below. Let me know what you picked up this week. If you bought anything this week, or are you just sitting on the sidelines waiting for the next deal? Or uh, yeah, comment down below, let me know. But all right guys, Patreon Stackers out and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.